24th season overall that Taylor Lanes has hosted a PBA Tour stop and will be back in Taylor next weekend for the ultimate scoring championship. Maybe no better time for a 300 televised game than next Sunday. And then in two weeks, we are north of Chicago in Vernon Hills for the Carmen Salvino Scorpion Championship. Take a look now at the Denny's Player of the Year points list. And on top, Norm Duke, followed by Walter A. Williams Jr. Tied for third is Bill O'Neill, who is our number one seed today in the Chameleon Championship. Wes Malott is standing by. He'll have the next match, and he's at number eight. This has been a high-scoring affair. Machuga, five frames, five strikes, looking to open up a six-pack. Well, he's taking a page right out of Norm Duke and Walter A. Williams' book of how to play the lanes where you're not supposed to. He's found a home in the outside part of the lane, really soft with his hand, and just letting that bowling ball do all the work. What will disrupt that home? Nothing, because there's nobody else that's going to play out there. I don't see anybody else playing out there. I don't know if, they can, if Wes Millot or Bill O'Neill can get their hands soft enough to get that straight. He's got the touchdown, looking for the extra point here. Seven in a row. The good news is no 4-9 split. Minimal damage. Wonderful start for Machuga. Just a pinch shy, gets a good left tap there on the four pin, only leaving the nine, and yes, you're right, a great start. Takes care of his first fair opportunity here in match number two. Again, Machuga took care of Sean Rash, 196-190 in our opening match. He is easily going to eclipse that 196. Brian Kretzer has gone strike, spare, then three consecutive strikes, and another spare. Here he is in the seventh, as you see the scroll of our, of our other finishers this week. Oh. Whoa. One five, one five seven eight. Had to be more pins up there. That was a shoe issue. Brian Kretzer had to get break in a new pair of shoes at the start of the season, and although he's been bowling very, very well this season, occasionally there's some issues with his slide sole and that slide foot. Completely different pair of shoes. The reason being is that the shoes that he was wearing that company is no longer product registered with the Lumber Liquidator P Lumber Liquidators PBA Tour. So Brian was forced to go to another manufacturer that is allowed to compete or to be shown out here. And it's taken him a little bit of time to break it in. And, and it's, you know, what he was wearing before and what he's wearing now is, is like night and day. Just takes him a little bit of time to get used to the new pair of shoes. Is it pretty much just a slide issue? It, it, yeah, but it's not consistent. There's nothing wrong with the pair of shoes he's wearing now. They're just different. They feel different. They fit a little bit different. They're made differently. Machuga off his only spare here in the eighth. And gets right back on the strike train. Again, just beautiful form going to the foul line, and he's he's really taking his wrist out of this shot. Just see just a slight cup and real soft through it at the bottom of the swing. But the thing to look at is that perfect balance, eyes on target, and a perfect result. Oh, whip. And really the only errant shot of this game for Mike Machuga, he just gets a little quick with that shot. And again, the, I think you, you know, the folks at home need to realize what a fine line it is, Rob, between missing it just a little bit or catching just a little bit too much of it at the point of release. And again, all of his spare opportunities this match have been single spin spares. He's taking care of both of them. 
So Kretzer steps up, and he's going to need to string some serious strikes together. And you knew Kretzer would be in the red. He's going to tell you, though, it's Scarlett. He's a diehard Ohio State fan. Came to our meeting yesterday wearing Archie Griffin's number 45 jersey and a Buckeye hat. Well, you saw him brushing his shoe after his last shot, and what that's going to do is it's going to rough up that sole, and so here he sticks. I told you about Kretzer and all of his Ohio State love. He is done in this match, but he has been all week in Detroit, which is not far from Ann Arbor, which is the University of Michigan Territory. Yeah, what happened with the... Uh... So he's, he's grocery shopping yesterday. Right. And he's wearing his Buckeye garb, and he's going down one of the lanes, you know, getting some rice aroni or something, and somebody goes to him, awfully brave. There's a Michigan guy, and Kretcher just kept on walking, and Kretcher's point is, hey, Michigan fan, you're awfully brave for barking at me. You're, you you got a losing season. You have the worst season in Michigan football history. They lost at home yesterday to Northwestern. A game that Wes Malott was at, and Wes Malott is up next, and up next for Mike Pachuga. Well, Brian Kretzer is having a very nice season. He's not going to win this match, but I don't think this is the last time you'll see Brian Kretzer on the telecast this season. Kretzer came in today eighth on the PBA points leader list, just behind Wes Malott, who is up next. So 137 career events without a title for Brian Kretzer. It'll now go to at least 138. And another ball change. Although I'm not so sure about that one because he was, he was pulling a pretty big game with this bowling ball here. So I think there's a point where you know, you start to fidget a bit too much, and it's overkill. Overthinking, I, absolutely. overkill. Absolutely. You know, I think 247, if he strikes here, is going to win just about, every, just about every match, no matter who he bowls. Chuga, six pins better than Rash in match number one. 57 pins better than Kretzer in match number two. Wes Malott waiting in the wings. And here's a scary thought, folks. He doesn't even feel like he's bowling well yet this season. 